I'm just creek hopping today. This spot looks good though. That's a decent one for sure. I used to just fish with bread, a hook, and line tied to a stick. Hang out next to a little old creek and see what I get. Hey everyone, welcome back to Show Me Creek. Today I'm back here. I got Joe with me. Got him out doing some fishing. It's been a while since he's been out and. There we go. Bluegill. Pretty decent little guy. Toss him back. There it is. Oh, the old double up. All over, buddy. I got you. I'm down. Whoa. Easy. Another one. Go ahead and toss this one back too. Whoa. Yeah, they're hard to lip. You open them like, out, they calm down? No, it's probably just running out of oxygen. <laughs> I don't know. They, I hardly ever can get them lip. Like a green sunfish or something. They got big mouths. You'd be able to put your hand right in it. Or your finger anyway. There we go. Beautiful bluegill. All day long. Smack. Now this one's fighting me now. What we got here? Bluegill. Whoa. Jumped right out of there. Right, I'm going to try out this Nico Crawdad. And that little guy chased it all the way over here. See, he's one of these crawdads? Got him. There we go. Oh, broke my line. Look at that. What timing. Wow. First little smallmouth of the day. On the Nico, talk about choking it. That's way down in there. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> That's probably oh, down in his belly. I don't even really think I got him hooked very good. It's just he swallowed it. Oh, yeah, that hook wasn't even hardly in him. All right, a little small mouth on the Nico crawl. First one, first smallie of the day. There's a bass right there. Hope I catch that guy too. Let's go ahead and let this guy go. Whoa, he was ready. You guys watching it out of the water? <laughs> you think they can see you? Yes, okay. absolutely. Really, when you walk up on a spot like this, you should stand back and cast from a distance. Because they, right? Yeah. Neither can they. That's kind of the point. Yeah, now if I can just catch something. It's resting on its branch. Yeah. You almost need to catch something so you don't get hooked up. 
Yep. Oh well. If you do get hooked up like that, just reel up real close and then pop it, you know. But you got real pretty close. And it doesn't always work. That, that just worked perfect right there. Yeah, that worked pretty good. You do it enough like me, you start to figure it out. <laughs> There we go. Well, that's a decent one for sure. He sees my feet I'm trying to get away. I can still see you. That's real nice actually. I don't know why it's bleeding. I didn't even hook it like that. All right, nice little small mouth here. That guy's long. I'm not sure how long it is. Maybe when I get home, I'll measure that and see. My guess would be about 13 inches or so. All right, let's let this guy go. Nice. All right, we're at another creek again. I'm gonna throw this rat lure out and see if I can't get something. There we go. Oh, that's a nice one. Hey, Joe! Oh, it snapped my tail off. Daggone it. Alright. Two pounds. I'm going to try it again. This thing always stops on two pounds. Yeah, two pounds. <laughs> I'll be right back. Solid fish. A little old mouth. Bell's beat up too. Let's let this guy go. There he goes. There you go. You get one? It might, it might be. It looks about like it, don't it? You got it? Whoa. Woo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're going to end this for you, all right? Let me see it real quick. Whoa. Hey, he's feisty. Yeah, he is. It's a large mouth. Super feisty. That thing just doesn't stop fighting. Nice. Baby. Oh. Yeah, it's small mouth. Oh, that's just gonna come on out, maybe. Yeah. Maybe not. Those uh, those hooks actually flex yeah. a lot. Oh, okay, I got you. Yeah, it's a little smallmouth, man. Have you caught a smallmouth before? Ow. Sharp teeth, huh? Yeah, that was pretty They sharp. do. There's people that would kill to catch a smallmouth. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's the king of the bass to a lot of people. But then you got largemouth people, too, so. Yeah, one that stays in my hand. No, not long. <laughs> Uh, smallmouth, they really fight a lot. They fight harder, like size for size. You could tell already, huh? Oh, that was a big difference. Yeah, and it was like half the size.
did get it by itself. Well, you caught more hair than me. <laughs> oh, be careful. Don't grab that one's mouth. That's a walleye, dude. See its teeth? Son of a... Look in its mouth. Look at that. Uh, yeah, you don't want to lift that you? one. I can't believe I grabbed him, though, really. Yeah. You want to get a... Are you on? Yeah, it's on. Nice. That's probably your first walleye, though, huh? Yeah. Let me see. See if it's got speckles here. No. Okay. Sweet. That's a damn near piranha, dude. You didn't know shit like that was in the creek, did you? No. <laughs> that's pretty wild. Dude. Yeah, that's what I said, man. Using a lot of bait, it's hard telling what you're gonna catch. Don't grab his mouth. Yeah, because I've seen it and I knew not to. Cause, you know the bass and everything else people just used to sticking their finger in the mouth you don't want to do that with that one no. imagine having your finger in there and that thing start thrashing around oh he's just freaking choking you down the whole time yeah like, yeah there we go first drum for the day that's another species we got. It's a drum. These things actually get pretty big and they're a monster fight. Dude, look how, wow, that looks tough. That skin looks a lot tougher. Yeah, you can thumb this one if you wanted. You know, it won't, it doesn't have teeth or nothing. It's got little teeth, kind of like a bass, but these things put up a great fight, super shiny. Heck yeah. First drum of the day, let's let it go. Nice. Oh, I think something's on there. There we go. Nice. Now, this is pretty. Have you ever seen a long ear? This is a long ear sunfish here. <clears throat> Look at that thing. Pretty, huh? Yeah. Like crazy colors. This one's not as bright as normal, but that's probably because the water is stained. Right, let's let this guy go. Mm -hmm. 